Hello, a quick vlog. This is not a normal sort of video. Um, I have no mic, I have no nothing. I don't have a lot of progress. Um, C6 looks like this. And you're gonna be wondering why the lack of progress. I've done uh, two videos up to now showing you the work I'd started doing. And I have progressed some of the work, but I've slowed right down today because the C6 bit me quite bad. That finger there, is, that's just a, there's a cut there but under the bandage in the sort of in that gap there it's um it's really deep <laughs> it's really like you can see through to like tendons and stuff and basically there's a bit of my finger still on the car here with my skin which i'm now going to remove okay. mm. no i can't oh there you go yeah so and some dry blood because basically there was a connector down here one of these evil connectors of which I shall show you these and although these are normally something I can work with they these ones are just awful they're so strong but they're also quite brittle so rather than bend they snap and I was putting some weight on it and it went and I punched this injector clamp. I appear to have loosened this injector clamp as well in doing so. That's annoying. Yeah, it looks like some rubber's falling out of it. Mind you, that one hasn't got one on at all, so... Interesting. Uh, so yeah, um, I've spent a lot of the day... I did carry on, um, but it was dripping blood everywhere and it wasn't going to probably need stitches to be honest but I haven't got time for stitches and I hate going to hospitals but who does I mean who, who likes going um so I I've been in and out of it today I mean like when it's when it started getting a bit too bleedy I've gone and sat down and then re-wrapped it put about three different bandages on it so far but it does seem to be okay and now what I've managed to do is get out here and I've fitted the new radiator and the new condenser, which is in there. Absolute pig. Absolute pig they are. Nothing like the Peugeot 407 uses the same kind of clips that go in here. These like quick release clips. Sorry, I'm filming everything backwards. Uses these quick release clips and, and that makes it nice and simple, but on this, there's just no space at all. Horrific. Um, I've uh, mostly installed, but not fully installed, um, a hose here, which is the one that goes to the header tank. You can't really see that. That's a new hose. That's one of the ones that was donated by uh, Steve. Um, this is another one that was donated by Steve. I've fitted this, although I think my original, which is, no, not that one. There it is. My original, I don't think it was as old as the car. Or was it? Oh no, 2006. Yeah, so that was the original one as well. But the rubber hose that normally goes on the end of it... Ugh. Yeah. The rubber hose that normally goes on the end of it is supposed to be pre-connected to this and then you fit it, but I can't get to the other end. It took me so long to get the bottom hose off. So the this radiator hose that goes here, the big fat one down there that goes down to the transmission um, oil cooler or heat exchanger. Oh, getting that off was, oh, I couldn't get to the other end of this. It's buried down the side of the alternator. And I thought, right, screw it. So the hose that was on the car looked okay. So I've, I've kept it. So I've replaced the plastic at the end of the day. The plastic is the stuff that seems to be failing, so. Um, I've got, I've still got this problem here. I've got my replacement hose. That came in this morning. If I can find it. Oh, here it is. So I've got my replacement hose here. And it did actually come with a new um, sensor in it. So I've got the old one out. But it actually come with a new one. So that's, that's waiting to go on. But it's connected... It, that end there, the, the end that's wiggling, this end with the yellow thing on, connects the EGR um, 
cooler or heat exchanger. I'm not entirely sure what their purpose is, but there's one on the back, one on the front on each EGR valve. Can I get to it? Can I balls? Not even close. Um, and being how my hand has handled uh, the front one, um, in fact, it wasn't even that, was it? I can't remember which one it was. No, it wasn't. But yeah, being we know what these clips are like. Um, I think it, and I'm I thinking. Great English. I'm thinking. I'm going to cut and shut it about here somewhere. So you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be sort of down the back of the engine, but I just chop it, put a joiner in there with two Jubilee clips because oh, I can't get to it. I cannot get to it. Those clips are designed to be put on, not taken off. Um, I know why they do it because if you look at the you look at the clip here. Well, the first reason they do it. There's the first reason they do it. That's a Ford part number. Ford. So things are done on the cheap. And in doing things on the cheap, so what basically happens is on the production line, that's got a clip in it, and they just fit everything on the engine and then just pull the tag out. And then, I mean, in some ways it makes sense for production, but that basically means that, that all the hose clips are done up the same torque, they're all in the same position, it's productionized. And it's got one at both ends. So I'm... You can't get them off. It's an absolute pig. Something I the ones on the old BXs and things, they have them, but you can just use some pliers and just spring them together and then let go and they spring back open again. These are just awful, awful quality. Um, so that's to go on still. Uh, I have an issue. Oh, close up. So I've had my parts come through again this morning a equally good service from uh, Yarra Car Care however I've been sent the wrong bit well unless I've ordered the wrong part it's it's entirely possible that I've picked the wrong part number but it's it's a similar part but it's not quite the same so this is the little swirl pot or degassing pot um, basically collect, collects air sends it back to the head tank off the EGR heat exchanger and that one has got a, it would have had one of them wanky little connectors there, clips, and another one there, and it sat on the side, and there's a bracket on it here, in silhouette, and that went there like that, and the one they've sent is very similar, but different. So I don't know if that's for, um, I mean, it was in a Citroen Peugeot bag, but none of the numbers on it. I don't know, that one might be PSA. But yeah, I don't know. It might be, unless it's for a 3 litre or what. But that's not going to go to an EGR housing because it's got a plastic end on it. So there's obviously something different. Either I've picked up the wrong part number or um, they've superseded it wrong or something. So what I'll have to do tomorrow is take all this apart and very carefully reuse this for now. Although I don't, I think long term that's going to need changing, but that's easier to change. So that's not a problem. Um, and then yeah this has obviously been leaking this joint here so um, and yeah I shall be replacing the clips with Jubilee clips where possible so I'll do that um, I've ordered some new clips for the EGR pipes I know on the instructions it said you can reuse them but you can buy the ones you buy are stainless and they're like they've got little bolts in um, so you can do them up so I think yeah I'll probably just do that um, they weren't expensive so um, so those have got to go on, or one, that's got to go back on. Um, there's the return, there's a, a pipe that broke on the thermostat housing. The thermostat housing's in, the new housing arrived, that's in. I'm so anxious about that because the stupid little fitting on the back of it, it's just like a metal spigot with a O-ring on it. Is, does, is it. is it sealed? I don't know. I pushed it all on as far as I can. I gave it a bit of Vaseline to encourage it. I've done all the bolts up. Does it leak? I don't know. You're not going to know until the whole thing's back together. So, um, and I've got to do, yeah, so I've got to do those coolant pipes. The pipe, yeah, I'm missing one that goes um, onto the spigot right at the back inside there. That's one of the ones that's snapped off and just comes round. And then I'm missing, That's I've had to order that on eBay because what's the names didn't have that one, which is annoying um in fact that's it down there i think is that it yeah uh 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it went. This thing here, it went down there like that. And there's another end that goes on the end of that round. So, I think. I hope. Who knows? But yeah, so that's what that is. Um, what else have I got? I haven't fitted the uh, fuel return harness that I got. Um, that was correct, but I didn't break anything. And I did think, well, should I just change it? Because, like, just because. But I'd had to have, this is it here. This, and sort of, I'd have had to have unship all the wiring on each head. I haven't got time, and I've got half a hand now, so I've, I've not bothered. I'm probably, it'll probably bite me in the arse, I'll keep it for a while. Um, but I've not bothered with that. Uh, it was one of those things, if I hadn't bought it, I probably would have broken it, sod's law. I've also got to sort these vacuum pipes out here. Because obviously they have all been snapped by my careless hands. I'm just going to probably take a lot of that away, take it off, bin it, and replace it with just copper and flexible um, rubber. Because that's just garbage, all this plastic crap. So yes, there we go. Um, that's pretty much where it is. So no, no, not running yet. Um, leaving for holiday in, well, it's holiday, going overnight, but um, in about, I don't know, a week. <sighs> um, yeah, so basically wait until I get um, the remaining hoses, so I can put this back, put this on, then I can put the butterfly in. I wanted to clean the manifolds out, or the air intakes and the, and the plenum, but because it's just full of carbon, it's just soot. But... I don't know if I've got time. I don't even know what to clean them out with and those. I can't really go cleaning those out. Because all the dust and crap and everything will just dislodge and then go into the cylinder. And you think, well, on an old car, you just like, yeah, send it through. Send it out the back. Well, it's not going to go through out the back on this, is it? It's going to get caught by one of the cats or the DPF or something and cause me headaches. So it's better off being stuck to the inside of those for now. Um, and even if you clean them, give them um, some period of time. Uh, the the uh, they just foul up again anyway. So um, yeah, it's it's been horrible. It's horrible to work on. It's worse than an SM. I mean, I've not really done much on the SM yet, but it's worse than yeah. So this is the worst engine bay I've worked in. Just for I mean, it probably it's probably the same on many modern cars, where everything's just crammed in and made of cheap plastic. But yeah, it's horrible to work on. Horrible. Stick to the old stuff, trust me. Um, but it's so lovely when it works, so that's the difficulty. So yes, I think there we go. That's um, that's a bit of an update, and uh, the ruined hand. And um, yeah, I'll basically dip in and out. I might be able to film something proper tomorrow. I don't know whether my hand's going to be all right. I was in late this morning anyway. Um, but I'll try and update this as and when I can. Um, and assuming I can get this to uh, France, I plan to do a little bit of filming there as well. So, for once, that'll be quite nice. Um, yeah, so sorry it's a crap video, but uh, and I haven't got any spanner in to show you, but this is where we're at at the moment. And I've just lost random noises. I've just lost so much time um, that I then, you know, I, I just had to get as much done as I could today. Because uh, I've actually got to use it. This is real again. It's not not fake jeopardy. This is real. So yes, uh, enjoy whatever you're doing after this. I don't know what that is. Go and have some biscuits or something.